Well, tonight, more than 20 state prosecutors from across the country are pushing Congress to target cell phones snuck in prison. Thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Brian Blakely. And I'm Alicia Barnes. Well, Queen City News reporter Daniel Pierce joining us now live outside of the Gaston County Correctional Facility, one of the locations that actually could be impacted by all of this. Daniel, why do these prosecutors want this bill passed? Well, this right here is a major step forward. In their words, whenever we talk about safety for both inmates, prison guards, and even the people outside of the prison walls, the Cell Phone Jamming Reform Act of 2020 is going to impact state prisons across the country. But right now, the bill remains in limbo. And department leaders for correctional facilities tell me that the longer it stays in limbo, the more risk they run of majors in bad situations happening because of cell, cell phone contraband. Cell phones in prison are the biggest public safety threat this country faces. That's why Brian Sterling's been battling for better protection in prison for the past 10 years. All I can do is keep on pushing and pushing and pushing. Sterling is the director of the South Carolina Department of Corrections. He's one of a growing number of directors in the country who want the ability to jam cell phone signals inside state prisons. Currently, the FCC bans state prisons from doing this. In a letter supporting the cell phone jamming bill, supporters laid out a series of events that have been linked to the contraband. Inmates have threatened prison guards and other inmates, and even started a deadly riot in South Carolina in 2018. Body scanners are now being used outside some prison to stop contraband from coming in, but now they're being dropped in by drones. They're watching everything we do. There's a lot of money in it. So there's financial incentive to try to beat the system. South Carolina has seen a drop in cell phones making it inside. In 2016, there were 7,226. Last year, there were 2,246. But all it takes is one. With these cell phones, they're able to, from a prison cell, still operate the same way they did out on the streets. They would still try to find ways around it. I think it would be a lot more difficult, but they're still going to do it. And we just have to be as vigilant as ever, as we always are, to watch out for new schemes. Now, federal prisons can use this cell phone jamming technology, but Director Sterling told me that he doesn't know of any that do take advantage of it. Now, the FCC, they have made uh, some ways for state prisons. They can actually apply to cut off the cell signals one by one of illegal cell phone uh, that are being found on inmates. South Carolina has applied to do this, but Director Sterling told me that he has not been given a timeline for when they can start. I also want to note that I did reach out to the North Carolina Department of uh, Correction uh, Facilities, but I have not heard back. Live in Gaston County, Daniel Pierce, Queen City News. All right, Daniel, appreciate your coverage on that.